Hello, welcome to the video for what is interpolation, the V2D interp. The V2D interp node is a vector 2D interp node. It's a basically a variable that has two float values, an X and a Y. If I run my example, I'm basically taking my actor's location using a fixed Z value and then randomly setting an X and a Y so you see it kind of floating across the screen. Looking at our inputs, we have our current, which is the current value that you are going to be interpolating, the target, which is your goal, the delta time, which is a zero to one range, basically how far in percentage wise you want to get to that goal in this step, and then the interp speed, which is basically a multiplier on the delta time itself. For our example, I went ahead and I split my input structs and my output struct. That way I could feed it into the set actor location and the get actor location. I didn't pass along the Z because I set a fixed Z value here. Remember for your constant 2D node, uh, constant interp node, sorry, there's a regular vector 2D interp and a vector 2D constant. Remember for your constants, you need a higher interp speed. You can use a low, much lower one, like a one to five range on a regular interp2 node. Then when we hook up this one, for example, and we run it, you're going to notice a smoothly moving cube with a slow ease in to its destination because we are using the interp2 node. If we're using the constant, you saw what we saw in our original example. It's going to move from position to position, bouncing back and forth without any easing in or out. A good example for a vector 2D interp would be something on our user interface since that is an X and Y. You could go ahead and, for example, have it smoothly move in a character or a user interface or a menu from the left or right screen. Maybe have something fly across the screen. Maybe you want to add a little bit of a shake. You could go ahead and use a vector 2D with some random values and have it shake left and right randomly. And since it is a interpolated node and it's not a fixed start to end point you can interrupt it at any time and it'll smoothly transition from the current value to its target so that is our vector 2d interp node if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them alone <laughs> leave them below